Shalom, shalom. This week's parsha is Ki Tavo. And it begins by telling us about when it says, it will be when you enter the land that Hashem, your God, gives you as an inheritance, and you will possess it, and you will dwell in it, and you should take the first of your fruits, and we're told to bring those to God. And we're told this little speech that we're supposed to engage in of acknowledgement, of gratitude, of everything from the beginning, of, from, from this first seed uh, before we became a nation uh, uh, and talking about Arami Oviravi like we do at the Pesach Seder and we're talking about our origins and then we go through from there when they had to go down to Egypt and everything all the travails all the difficulties they went through and then they had to go through the desert and until they finally entered the land and now that we entered the land and we inhabited the land, we acknowledge and we're grateful to God with what we have. And we want to give the first of whatever we have as an acknowledgement that it's not ours. It's God and it's what God has given us. And we're supposed to be, in, we're, we're commanded that you should be happy with all of this in gladness. And you, and you give the first to God and then you can go on with your life with this acknowledgement that God has been with us all throughout the difficult times that we went through to till we got here to to living a life of of purpose and meaning in our land and for me this is shouting out very much in a metaphorical sense i mean think about it the it says the land that you've gotten as an inheritance and you possess it and you dwell on it to me that even sounds like the soul, the neshama that inhabits the body, the body that God has given each and every one of us. That is our inheritance. That is our land. That is what we dwell in. All of our spirits dwell in our own land that God gave us for a purpose. And if you look at even this comparison of, of this acknowledgement to God, it's it's like our every day. I mean, we're supposed to, before we even open our eyes in the morning, have this acknowledgement and thank God with our, that's our first fruits, metaphorically speaking, our first moments of conscious awareness of breathtaking in our day, that we offer that up to God in a in a praise, a modeani, and gratitude. Thank you, God, so much for returning me to this this land, you're putting my soul back into my body, you've returned it, you've given me life. We know that sleep is the 60th of death. We are returned and reinvigorated with life. It's no small thing to inhabit this land that we have every single day. And that our first thought, our first fruit, our first thing that we do should be gratitude and remember. And then we go into, God willing, we, we pray the chakra, the first service in the morning, and we, we think we say all these things in our prayer, we, in the Ajah Shir, and we remember so many things and we remember, we're reminded of who we are, of what our purpose is. And I think this is such a incredible way to start off our days every day is to acknowledge that God gave us this wonderful uh, gift of our body that is each and all our, our, our own land and to know to, to recall what our, our purpose here is here what we're doing here and and how to live our best lives um and when for me specifically when i consciously engage in this activity every day i feel invigorated i feel a sense of real joy because it's not like how i might have felt many years ago of getting up every day and like why why am i doing the same thing over and over and that's i i realize now that that was such a a life of gratitude and that it's not about me it's about that god gave me this body and i have to inhabit it and and do the best i can live my every day um, knowing that there is a purpose even if i don't see it and to just do the best i can with every day knowing it's a gift this breath i'm taking right now is a gift and everything that God gives me is a gift. And indeed that when I'm really uh, able to, to absorb that and to understand that, not just intellectually, but with my whole being, it gives me such a good life and I'm grateful. And I hope that this resonates with the rest of you. And I wish you all a very good Shabbat Shalom.